There we go. And you know. Welcome back, everyone, <laughs> to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, Take Two. Beep, boop, beep. Uh, <laughs> uh, where we talk about things that matter to us, but may not matter to you. Boop, beep, boop. Yes. Who knows? I am host one of three, Luis. Boop, boop. I am host two of three, Daikaiju Tony. Beep, boop, boop. He's translating for our robot listeners. Anyway, continue. And I am boop, boop, beep, boop, Adam. I think you. I think I don't think you said it right. What? <laughs> boop, 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 I speak boop. a little bit of robot, and it sounded like you said Jeremy, and I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> but you're working on it, and I love it. I'm I sorry, I, I don't listen to dubstep. I don't. <laughs> I, don't I, wouldn't, I wouldn't get it. That's good. That's your good. your Duolingo robot is coming in great. <laughs> um, before we continue our to- on our topic, uh, before we start on our topic okay. of vintage toys, sort of. Kind of, yeah. Well, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the pop culture mecca of the Mojave Desert, yeah. where we got toys. We got toys. We got toys. We got pops, and we got action figures. And we got comics about um, superheroes. I mean, they're statues. You can, I guess you could do stuff with the statues, but like, they're not really action figures. They're not but, articulated. But you can, like, make them do stuff, I guess. Anyway, don't do that. If you smash two together, they're fighting each other. Don't That's do that. That's true, but don't do that. <laughs> That's an expensive way and fragile way to, well, statues are a lot tougher than they used to be, but they'll still break. Anyway, we have, all. <laughs> besides that, we also have comics, apparel, and all sorts of wonderful things, including back issues for Correct. collectors. So come Ooh, on excuse. down to Cosmic Comics. Talk to one of our knowledgeable staff, such as Tony. <laughs> and Tony will be able to help you with Such anything as that you need. Such Tony. Tony. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And they'll be able to help you with anything that you need. So pick up, yes. pick some. Oh, and we also I, I, ship. Yes. Yeah, that's true. We also ship uh, nationally. Yes. Nationally. Not, nationally. Not internationally. Yeah, not internationally. Uh, not if you yet. go to uh, uh, cosmiccomics.vegas, you will find all of our wonderful products for sale that you can order and have them delivered for to your house. Sale. So you don't even have yeah. to show up. Me have real feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Me not corporate mascot like Ronald McDonald. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are a corporate mascot? Yeah, are you our corporate We're mascot? We're all corporate mascots at this point. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, I don't have anything catchy or gimmicky about me. Gosh. <laughs> Come on down, <laughs> and we'll we'll uh, we'll help you out as best we can. Okay. Okay. So today's show. You're 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 navigating this thing, right? Today's show. A, yeah. Go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna talk about Lego or I guess that's the title. All Lego right. or. Do you prefer the Lego toy or all the time the real toy? Let's end this right now. Uh, yeah. Shortest well, show ever. Uh, all the Legos. And okay, here's my. No, background. I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. Wait for what I got in store. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's my background of Lego. I haven't bought a background. No, I haven't bought a Lego set in like five years. Same. But I have bought minifigures because I do like those little blind bag minifigures. I still like Legos, although I mm. also haven't bought Legos in years now. But that's yeah. par- partially it's because of the cost. You know, when you're, when you're already expensive. into comics and high-end Godzilla toys, something's yeah. got to go. And yes. Sorry, Lego, it they're was you. Already, I buy a <laughs> lot you. of game books, and they're way more. Right, they're yeah. Just, they're not well, as expensive yeah. as a Lego, but uh, it's yeah. certainly enough not to have right. me buy Lego. When something's got to go, it's Lego. Yeah, yeah. it's Lego. <laughs> right. It should be there. So what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, the viewers, you guys at home, you guys are going to see slides. But I'm going to give you guys a sheet of paper, and you're going to sort of, I'm going to announce what it is, and then you guys are going to... Uh, Reflect on it and decide which one you want to pick and why, and that's what's going to be our starter right there. Don't flip okay. it over just yet, okay. um, even though you can kind of see what's in it. All right, uh, the first I see a one box. you can flip it over. The first one is, of course, the Kenner Millennium Falcon or the Lego version of the Millennium Falcon. Okay. Oh, now boy. there are a lot of versions of the Lego Millennium Falcon, but of course we're not talking about the super high end one. We're talking about this one right there. The well, Ken, is this the Kenner one? That's the Kenner right. one and the Lego one. I don't think the Super I Hand one is meant for like the ones with minifigures. So let's go with this one and let's go with the New Hope Millennium Falcon. You know, that other. Yeah, yeah. I don't want disaster. the square dish. The square dish is a dead giveaway right. that it's from the new movies right. and I will not abide. That's why this one's on here. That's why this one's on here. Right. So yeah. thank New you Hope Millennium Falcon with Darth Vader, Han Solo. Luke, so Lego? Chewie. I remember so this bad. Lego one, right? Both of you going for Lego. Well, hold on. I remember so bad wanting the Kenner one when I was a kid. Right. And it costs a lot of money. Yeah. How much did it cost back then? Oh, I don't. I, I don't know. It but I, d- I got like it for Christmas, bucks. I think, from my grandmother when you know. But this was 1978 yeah. or and, ha- and how old were nine? you in 70? Nine? <laughs> Nine. Yeah. 
So, yeah. And you saw the first Star Wars movie in theaters? I did. Wow. It was amazing. I feel like Tony's just it really giving you crap blue. for being on. No, I no, I feel, I feel jealous. Like jealous. And you were yeah. how old? Yeah, you were. No, I'm, no, I'm like, I'm like, wow. <laughs> My first Star Wars movie in theaters was Revenge of the Sith. Oh, that's wow. sad. Wow, that that's is sad. But I like that movie. That I like that movie. But I'd, uh, I'd rather see a new hope in a big screen. But okay, yeah. the Millennium Falcon. I guess if I so was. So you're going with Lego? Hell yeah, I'm going with Lego. Are we going with uh, now or like as a kid? Uh, do both, or you know, if I were Which, a kid, I probably think of would, it from a kid's point of view. Right, playability, uh, whatever. If I were a kid, I probably would have gone with the Kenner Millennium Falcon because okay. you can play with the the Lego one. Right. Um, but I would be scared that it would just fall apart. <laughs> as opposed to the Millenn- the Kenner Millennium Falcon, which does not fall apart, seems like it could take it a little bit. It was pretty tough. Of a- yeah, I used to beat the crap out of mine. Yeah. Oh, and God. what was cool is you could the landing gear, the the middle landing gear in the front, it would flip down, and it was kind of. It had like fingers, so it was meant to. I don't know if it was meant to do this, but you could hold it and it would kind of like yeah. sit on your forearm and you could be like, you. Adult me. Like, fly it around. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah cool. That would, that's much cooler. But adult me, Didn't I think, come would go. with any figures, though. <laughs> oh, the one when I was a kid, the, the one Did came it? with, uh, I, th- I believe it came with um, Han Solo and Chewbacca. Well, oh, which yeah. one? The Kenner figure? The Kenner? The, uh, yeah, but this was back when the Kenner figures were like. They all looked like they had the same body mold. Yeah. So they all were like, they were even Princess Leia was like broad shouldered and stuff. She was very, very stocky. But yeah. This box over here shows the Kenner. Oh, never mind. This is the the reissue. That's the, yeah. But you guys see the Hasbro logo down below? Yeah. It's the reissue from like the 70s. It comes with Stormtroopers, Luke, Chewie, C. Chupio, and R2. No, that's just a. And Han Solo. At the bottom, it says includes two figures. Oh, oh, okay. Other available figures not included. Well, that sucks. That's after Hasbro brought them, yeah. Anyway. Oh, my God. Uh,. Adult me would probably go with the um, uh, this, the Lego one. Lego? I would go with the Lego one yeah. because, I don't know, just the joy of building it. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to play with it anymore, obviously, but the joy of building it uh, is pretty cool. All so, right. yeah, I would, I, would, I would choose the Lego. Okay, I'll go with the Lego one since here's the thing. Adult, don't flip it yet. Okay. Like, if I was still collecting Legos, I would, I would get the Lego one over the Kenner one, since I generally collect the Legos more often. I, I don't even have any Kenner figures, but here's what made Legos cool. So you're adult and kid Lego. Yes, because here, here's what made them cool. Yeah. Scale-wise. Compared to scale-wise to the Kenner, to the True. Million Falcon, True. and say you're a person who doesn't have a lot of space for reasons. And True. Yeah. Plus, you could, you know, it's well, compa- honestly, I mean, the Kenner one is only, like, this big. Yeah, so but it's, it's not, probably about the same size. But it's the thi- really? it's not to scale. No, and it that would have bothered scale. me as a kid because like it did, it, even it, it did bother me as a kid. Yeah, actually. if you but look, not enough, right? Not, not enough to matter. Well, but, I mean, if someone bought it for me, for sure. But like, it, it bothered me that the Millennium Falcon was so small, <laughs> the 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 Kenner one. But like, obviously, the Star Wars one is more to scale because the figures are only right, yay big, right. and they okay. seem to be about the same size anyway. So right. plus, here's the thing with the Lego one. You could put a little Batman figure inside of it and say, oh, Batman's inside the Millennium Falcon. That's could true. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Or if, genius. Did, did Kenner do any... Well, actually, no. Did, did Kenner do any superhero action figures? Or Probably back in the day. But I here's the thing. Like, the most popular superhero action figures back in the day must have been Mego figures, and there's no way you could jam a Mego figure inside um, of that. Megos were pretty popular, I want to say, in, like, the late 70s. I think with the Star Wars action figures, popularity is kind of what put Mego into hibernation for so long, and mm. the 11-inch G.I. Joes. Yeah. And then, of course, the much smaller figures sort of took precedence in the 80s, definitely. Yeah. yeah. All right, ready for number two? Yes, yeah. and I can Let's already tell it. what this is from Flip the silhouette. It. We oh, have, dear God. Oh, boy. We have Sideshow Collectibles, Life Size Baby Yoda, and Lego Baby Yoda. His name's Grogu. His name is Baby Yoda. And, well, uh, he's technically the child. <laughs> His name is the, Wee Yoda. Wee Yoda. Oh, God. Uh, oh, uh, which one are you going with? Okay. Let me first say that that Lego, as you can see on the screen right now, that Lego Baby Yoda is hideous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. it's an ugly yeah. oh, my figure. God. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I would not want that thing looking at me. Oh my god! I'm not a fan of the Lego um, sets that are basically like this, where you build a, a character. Right. I'm not a fan of those. So I yeah, definitely with those I'd rather get an action figure. Yeah, I would character. much. Ra- yeah, if I was gonna have one, I would much rather have the the Wii Baby Yoda. The actual life. The actual. Size yeah, sideshow. the sideshow one. That'd be an expensive gift for a kid. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, as a kid, I don't think I'd want any of these. What? I don't think I would have been into these per se. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I would, well, I have one right now. Because the sideshow oh, one. Dear. Well, the sideshow one, I don't know. I've never had a sideshow figure. How? how oh, is nice. it like an articulated not, action figure? Yeah, but they're not necessarily meant to play with. They're meant. 
Which, it, for as much as they cost, you think they'd actually yeah. be much more durable. This life-size <laughs> figure is meant to be one-on-one -on -one with the prop from right. the show. Right. Uh, the one that's meant for kids is the plushy one the with plushy the one, hard yeah. plastic head, but he doesn't have any legs, so his body yeah. feels like a beanbag. I, f yeah. I thought about using him, but I'm like, nah, I'm going with Sideshow. Yeah, but no, I'm going to go, go Sideshow. I'm going Obviously. with Sideshow. I'm nice. like, I would want this if I could afford it. Plus, the, it, the, so. the, the, the Lego Yoda looks hideous. So. <laughs> yes, it, it does look pretty hideous. Okay. okay. All right. Next up, <laughs> you're going to love this one. Flip it. Oh, boy. Okay. We have what the hell is Lego that? Technic Stormtrooper and Sideshow Collectible well, Stormtrooper. Again. Well, I, why is the word boob in the bottom? It's, it's 8008. Eight. Come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> It says uh, boob to me. It's a, it's a calculator. That's, it says that's, boob. That's because you're a young man. I get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tech, I, yeah. Again, I'm not a fan of you make me the use, le use Legos to build a person. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> that is okay. a terrible oh, looking oh, figure. Plus, it's a terrible. It doesn't look nothing like a stormtrooper. Here's the thing. I wasn't even, to, I wasn't even into Bionicles it's, back it, then. It looks when like I was, a Bionicle. When I was like five, trooper. I didn't even like Bionicles. So... <laughs> Yeah, no, no. I'd rather go with Sideshow. I mean, the Bionicles made more sense than whatever the hell this yeah, is. Yeah. This looks like a Cylon more than anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my does, God. It yeah, it looks bad. I'm hey, going to go with shoots, the, it, yeah. it can shoot stuff out, though. It's not It's not like the newer Lego sets where you just you press into it and it just <clears throat> flies off. This one has a spring loaded into it, and you can shoot someone in the eye with it. So there's that. Go poke mm. your eye out with that thing, kid. Poke your eye. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go so Sideshow. Sideshow on this Yeah, one. Sideshow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean so. that thing just looks awful. Next it just looks up. terrible. Next up, yeah. okay, go what ahead and flip it. You have. Hey, I had this. Oh, what the Le heck is this? Nickelodeon's Krusty Krab and Lego Krusty Krab. From Lego SpongeBob Lego. SquarePants. I, I have this. Uh, so the Lego's Krusty Krab. Yeah. Or the, you this, know, this you, is back when the Squidward head was just like a put on sticker and. He was smiling or something. It, it looked really off the wall, <laughs> but the, this one came with a Patty Mobile. It was awesome. It I, does come with a Patty Mobile. Yeah, it's true. I, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I don't want either of <laughs> You're them. You're just like, whoa. I, uh, How could you not want Lego SpongeBob? I am not. I'm you, not a fan of SpongeBob. You know when weird? it came out, even, I, I, I didn't even want to watch it. So. What the hell's wrong with you? You know what's weird to me? What? It's like SpongeBob came out. He was. I don't know if you were born yet. Ninety nine. What is it? Ninety nine. Blows my mind. No, like two thousand one. Yeah, but it was it was no, it was still it was big when I was growing up. It came out and something like that. I remember it came out. It was huge in New York. Yeah, that's when it was good. The first three. But seasons. I I was like, how old was I by then? Uh, fifteen, fifteen or sixteen, I believe. If that's when it came out. Yeah. I I just wasn't into it. Hell, I even like the later seasons where the writers start writing in their own fetishes into the show. But oh, I was... God. <laughs> All right, so what are you going yeah, with? Yeah, 99, 1999. You're going with... Le oh, okay. Yeah, I was 15. I, I, I just I, wasn't into it. But if I had to pick one, I would go with Lego the Lego the Lego one. I mean, if I... Well, the, the I have the figures and the Patty Mobile still, but the Krusty Krab itself is probably all in pieces in a yeah. box somewhere. But, yeah, if I get you another one of these, then, yeah, sure. <laughs> Plus, you get, a, the, you get the hamburger car here, it's looks like. Patty Mobile? Yeah, you need a license to drive a, a sandwich. So you get all the characters, <laughs> and then you get a, the the hamburger car or whatever. Uh, what is it called? Uh, okay, the patty mobile. The patty mobile. Okay. Okay. Well, all this right. one looks next all right. Next up, you weren't supposed to flip it till oh, I said so. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. So next we have sideshow collectibles, one six scale R two D two and Lego. R2 one six D2. scale. So is that like one on one or no? One six scale is about a six foot tall figure would be twelve inches tall. Eh. So this Air 2D2 would be about what, so what, five what, to six. Would it scale long. up with other Hot Toys? Yes, yes, it would. Huh. I would go. I I'd, I'd probably go with the Lego one. I'd go. I with think Lego this would be this would yeah. be a lot. I think I'd it'd be a lot more fun to have and build and stuff. Like if I'm yeah. spending like more than two hundred dollars yeah. in R two D two, I'd rather get a life size R two. I was gonna say I'd rather get. A life I would size get. Now. I would get the R two D two if I had other sideshow figures to go with it. Right. But I don't. So I'm gonna go with the Lego R two. Oh, and it even comes yeah. with the minifigure of R two. It, it, it comes with the. Oh, he does. Yeah, he sure does, doesn't he? Oh, he does. Yeah. Now there's a whole, and this is what I thought about for this, and I thought about using that, but the sideshow one would probably work for the context. But there are R two D two builder groups out there, and like that build like the actual. They build the actual group, and I remember I went to like actually it was a WonderCon a few years ago, and they they were it was an R two D two you know uh, panel, mm -hmm. and they were talking yeah. about it, and the guy couldn't come to that WonderCon, but they were saying like one of their main guys mm -hmm. who's like an engineer by trade. Like his R two D two, he has. I want to say they they said he has at least sixty thousand dollars sunk into this R two. Oh my god! And, and at god. this point, it's 
like almost an R2 unit. Well, you have to finish like, it. So like it's a sentient? It, no, no. It's like just it does so much. So right. it's a sentient. It is, it is almost an R2D2 unit. Oh, I mean, I mean, by there's a certain well, dollar amount to I mean, where I'm like, no, I put this much money in it. I need to finish this yeah. thing. No, it was finished. It's just he kept upgrading. Right. And adding but what to I'm it saying is like sixty thousand is a lot. I don't. Well, I don't know that I would pay that he much. An, for... He's an engineer. He's, oh, he's that, well, good for him. I'm not yeah, an engineer. Yeah, yeah. But they guys, these guys had, they look great. And I mean, I'm going to put some I've seen some. Below, I've seen some at yeah. cons. People bring yeah, them. They're amazing. Bring, they bring their R2 to the cons. But yeah, I would go with the. the I want to be inside of an R2 suit. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> You're too tall, buddy. So yeah. what are we going with? Yeah. Lego? Yeah, yeah, I'm going Lego. with Lego. Yeah. yeah. That one's the good one. All right. Don't, don't flip it. Here you go. Reach yeah. out. Reach out. All right, go ahead and flip it. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, well, I, I technically have this because I play Lego. Di- oh, I played Lego Dimensions. I have the Lego yeah. Gizmo and I have Stripe. So Lego Gizmo is a minifigure. <laughs> and, a mini and then Lego there's figure? a and then there's a plush Gizmo from who? The original baby Baby Yoda. <laughs> I Side, was it was it from Sideshow and Neca? Uh, I don't know because I have the Neca one that sings. Oh, okay, it's so whatever this one is. Uh, I I. No, I can't. Well, I don't even know if Hot Toys made a gizmo, so... I'll be, yeah, a, I don't know. I don't I'll be know. honest. I'm going to go with a Lego one. What? <laughs> the minifigure? Yeah, and the, re- and, the re- and the reason why is because this... Uh, the minifigure I, I Lego looks I, sleepy. <laughs> it, look, this... this. Uh, he looks like... Are you kidding me? This other one This <laughs> other one looks... Um, it's, it's, it's designed from the it looks, first movie. It looks great. It looks great. Lego, ma- Lego, Lego minifigure is... Are you kidding me right now? That's uh, yeah, the right. I <laughs> don't. Uh, it looks like they're just somebody wearing a really bad uh, <laughs> costume, like a really bad Magua costume. <laughs> um, the one on the right, I I can't imagine not being freaked out every time I turn the light on <laughs> in my room and there it is. Like, oh, good. At least the little Lego one I could put away, and if they come to life to try to kill me, I can just <laughs> okay get rid of it. Okay, assuming that this is the NECA one, since technically I have both of these. Um, yeah. when I saw Gremlins when I was eight. I begged my parents for a gizmo. Yeah. Guess, yes. Like an actual gizmo? No, well, there's no way. I, I, at that point, I knew that Mogwis weren't real. Even, oh, okay. But, like, I begged, like, I just want a gizmo action figure or a plushie uh, or anything. And for Christmas, I got the one that's, I think it's like this, and then um, you press a button and he sings. Oh, I'm that's like, pretty oh, cool. That's so cool. Right, his little Mogwis when, song. When my daughter was, I want to say she must have been six or seven, they actually, you know, the Furbies were big, but they actually yeah. had a gizmo Furby. And you couldn't get it in town. I guess we had to go to Stateline to get it. Really? Oh, wow. and, it, and it never worked right. It was just so weird and bizarre. It never like did, did it at least look it, like Gizmo from the it, movie. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but, know, it, but it had the little, you know, the little Furby thing because it had to, it did similar mm-hmm. things. But it never worked right. It was kind I, of, I kind look, of a look. Okay, I'll take I'll take the the one on the right. Really? On um, I will, I will take it only if. It's the variant from the second movie where he's wearing like the headband and he's got like a little <laughs> the, ball, Rambo, like, the, the Rambo the version. Rambo yeah. I think the NECA Rambo made that. Did they? Yeah. I don't yeah. see why they wouldn't. All right, flip it. We got we got Jada's oh, uh, Fast and Furious Who? Dom Toretto's. That's the name of the company. Oh, oh. Jada. Uh, Dom Toretto's uh, Challenger. And then say, you can't be have, making Jada jokes around here. Right, right. And then we have <laughs> Lego Dom's Charger. So oh. going I'm going with the die cast because here's the thing. That Lego Technic, you can't put the minifigures inside of it, so what's the point? Well, I yeah, can't... they're not scaled. What do you want? You want to put your Vin Diesel, yeah, <laughs> your Vin Diesel figure. Lego yeah. figure? Family. <laughs> family. 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 <laughs> we take no family. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the, the I'm gonna go with the Lego one. What? Yeah. I, just I, I, would go, more, it's more I would go with the Lego one too. The Lego yeah. one is, first off, I'm not a fan of the Fast and the Furious franchise. No, I'm not a huge. I mean, they're entertaining. Hey, but yeah, but the play. car looks nice, and honestly, I think you'll get more out of the Lego because you're building it, right? Mm-hmm. So you're getting, I, I, you're getting more features out of it. This one seems to come with like what tires? Why does it come with tires and rims? Because you sort of partially assemble it. Is that a screwdriver? Yeah, you you put it together, not to the extent of a Lego. Yeah, I would go. But with you Lego. do put it together. I would build the die cast one. That was that was. I think I had something like this before back yeah. when I was like I yeah, seven. Yeah, and they they do make those still. I think that one on the left is supposed to train kids into like being able to change tires for a living. Ah ha ha! I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> Good luck wow. with that. Way, what are you, try, what are you trying to easier. say? No, I'm just kidding. Way easier. All right. I next. heard my hand while changing his tire. I thought it was gonna be like with the toys. All right, go ahead and flip it. What the hell is this? A real typewriter. A damn typewriter. <laughs> or a Lego typewriter. Oh, <laughs> oh come on, really? <laughs> This is a thing? It is a thing, yeah. It's a real thing. Maybe choose between the real thing and a Lego 
<laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that. And Lego typewriter is the stupidest thing. <laughs> no, it's well, so dumb. Why? It, Why? It, you know, I, I thought it's, it's it not works. The Lego set but I've it, seen, it but actually doesn't work, but it does make sounds like a typewriter, which like, I was like, Why? I know Why? I, know Why? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to name it because it might be in one of the papers, but like, I know there's some cool things that Lego's made that's like a replica of. So, yeah, yeah. First off. <sighs> I don't know that I want either, to be quite honest. <laughs> what? Like, like a typewriter is nice, I guess, I'm but it's heavy. It's imp- it's so impractical when I have a computer. Nowadays, yeah. Yeah, nowadays. when I have a laptop, it's so impractical. I'm a Resident Evil fan. I want the typewriter. Hell yeah, that's my guy. Listen, the only time I would pick the typewriter, and is, like, I would pick up a typewriter, is if I'm uh, if plus, I'm practicing for a typewriter of the dead. Plus, if I'm typing for, in the dead, yeah. Type, I, is it called I, typing in the dead? Typing in the dead. Yeah. Plus, if I'm ever forced into a wheelchair, I could just like build up my upper body by just doing this with the typewriter. That's true. Yeah, that okay. is true. Yeah. You can also do that with a kettlebell. And That's true. Also yeah. very true. Yeah, uh, I guess if I had to go can, with yeah. one, I would go with the actual typewriter <laughs> because the Lego typewriter yeah. is just useless. Just just in case someone... Yeah, I'll go with the real <laughs> typewriter just in case someone kidnaps me and breaks my legs. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this was the one I was... Oh, I Next. Know, I peek, go ahead and flip it. Yeah, this was the one I was mentioning. An NES or a Lego NES? This is hard. <laughs> this is hard. Is it? <laughs> yes, it is. Anthony, <laughs> this is it? Is it? <laughs> Like Anthony, <laughs> I'm gonna call you Anthony right now because this is this boggles my mind. This Anthony, is cool looking. Oh my god, it is. It actually is pretty cool looking. But then again, the NES could play the actual games, but the only game I have is the Legend of Zelda, the, the Gold truth Cartridge. Is, yeah, the truth is, you go to the right websites on the internet, and you can get every NES game and just play them. Right I, your look, I, <laughs> and then you can get the I Lego the, NES the Lego, and be like, oh, cool. Look, the Lego version is a great novelty. For yes. sure. Yeah, it, yeah. It's a cool looking thing that you could have somewhere. You could play Mario in that TV. But I don't even have a Nintendo anymore, and yeah, I would yeah. love to have a Nintendo again. So I would go with the real Nintendo, the uh, actual Nintendo. Okay, well, given how. Okay, because I'm pretty sure Nintendo right now, on, on in this very moment, they're on the hunt for any ROM hack websites. Yeah, yeah. Given how. They're pretty. They're pretty. Given how aggressive. really <laughs> aggressive and. You can still find the stuff, but they are pretty aggressive. You know, Nintendo are with, yeah. you know. Basically, game preservation in general. I'd rather have the physical copy of the original games yeah. than a really cool-looking replica of the actual NES and a TV with an I antenna wouldn't. and a freaking NES yeah. cartridge of Super Mario Bros. I wouldn't right. balk at the the one on the left there. Like if someone gave it to me, like, I'd be like, "Oh, that's really cool." This, but if I had awesome. the choice, I think I would have the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Is this the that's, that's an NES, not a Super Nintendo? I'm sorry, yeah. the, the Nintendo. Excuse old me. NES, excuse me. Yeah. So is this the actual Nintendo with like the RF cables and everything yeah. or is this the mini I, I the mini, the mini like, one that had no, that like looks the... like the real one okay the, so the we're only, going the real only way one. to play the mini is if you modded to have every single NES game in yeah. existence in there mm-hmm. yeah which you can actually do with a with a with one of those pie pie people. boards and stuff Shh. oh yeah I should do that yeah people are gonna, up on people YouTube. are gonna look die on YouTube. of you yeah People are going to lose their jobs. Because oh, no. People are going to lose uh, their ni- lives. We're gonna last hit. one. This one's near and dear to my heart because okay, I have my okay, own I'm closing choice. my eyes. Ah, I can't uh, get Because there. Nintendo right. are known to like send men in black after people. Right. Oh. All right. Flip it. Lego Death Star or the original Death Star Space Station. What the hell is that? Ew. What is this? Blasphemy. That thing is amazing. That's just... The what? Death Star Space Station? Yes. It's just like one part of the Death yes, Star. Yes, it is. That That's- is... That was the most amazing toy. Again, I got it for Christmas. Okay, what are the, what are the rooms here? Like, in, Okay, in the top so, floor is that big uh, turbo laser. Okay. Um, the elevator goes up and down. If you look at the elevator on the top, the back side, the side to the left, is actually where Obi-Wan Kenobi turns off the power. Yes. Okay. Boom. The next floor is the chasm that Luke and Leia swing across. Did you say chasm? Chasm. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm like, have I been pronouncing it wrong? I'm pretty sure it's chasm, but, the floor but below that, chasm. that's the one where she's the f- where he swings with his right, little with right. his little his little string. The floor below that is the detention center, and then the floor below that is the trash compactor. Yeah, there which is had no a little floor. I can't tell which there is, is the, the trash yeah, compactor. Yeah, there's no floor below that. I see three there's, floors. There's four floors. There's the bottom floor, which is that got that orange thing. That's a trash compactor, right? Oh. Which came with a rubber trash monster and a bunch of foam. <laughs> Dude, so this is like you, three you floors. Would crank and it would crush. It was cool. It looks so, like it's three floors. And it had a little trash. I had a little flip door that you. Would the second the floor just has a, a pedestal. So basically, the most yeah, that's, it, it was that's the, the second floor. Center. It's okay. the most important parts. And of it had the a Death trap. Star. It had a trap door that you could jump through. Yeah, so it's the most important parts from episode and it had four. The, and the M, uh, the elevator went Listen, all the way up to the top. I don't want to put it down. Completely. I love I, it. I, I, I it's, listen, it. it's nostalgia. I know. Yeah. I know what nostalgia is like. You can play with it, though. But honestly, I, yeah, but I could kind of yeah. play with if this other one, too. I don't one, think I'd still even want it. 
Yeah. Like, look, it's got like a little port for like a TIE fighter, and it's yes, got all kinds of room. You can and just you get can, a bunch of the figures you, and stuff. You get moments <laughs> from all the other movies, like you get popping in that chair, Luke from Return of the Jedi yeah, fighting Luke Vader. Yeah, swinging over a chasm right there. There it is. Yeah, and then from Stormtroopers. Yeah, no, no, Luke's fighting Vader over there too, and there's the Imperial yeah. Guards. And yeah, there's a TIE fighter. There's probably that thing that the laser comes out of too. The and, turbo lasers? So. Yeah, and here's the thing. <laughs> Assuming that this is um the one prior to Disney Flying stars. I think that's the one where it opens up, so it's not just Yeah, like, it actually has covers that fit over. Yeah, the oh. covers. They're so that's way covers. cool. Yeah, that's cool. cool. So, really so cool. even like if you're not playing with it, you can just put it up on a shelf like, and it looks yeah, awesome. Yeah. Desktop. yeah, no, I'm going to go with the Lego one. Okay. Right. One on the right looks like garbage. I'm so hey. sorry. Hey. I'm so sorry. Hey. I probably would have liked it, was it cool if I was the Star Destroyer too, play yeah. shit, which came out later. Uh-huh. After Empire Strikes Back, like it literally, it, I mean, it wasn't made to, but I think they may have at least designed it to because it fit over the top almost perfectly of the desk. Really? Yeah. Oh, so, okay. And it was cool because it had a trap door too, so you could like go up to the trap door and there was like another floor. So you had uh, like, so you had like Darth Vader's uh, meditation chamber up there and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm going to go with the Lego one. All right. Yeah. Lego one, of course. It's Lego that, Death Star. I figured you guys would go with Death Star. All right, that's it. That's all I got. Have we been keeping score at all? Like, what did? Uh... Well, Legos definitely ahead. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's very. There, there were a few you picked that were not the Legos. Which yes, is I fine. Freaking there was a few ringers in there, like stormtroopers. Ooh. Nobody would pick that stormtrooper. That stormtrooper is hideous. Like garbage. There right. are better Lego stormtroopers, but I didn't go with those. Anyway, I'm sure there is. Uh, let us know which toys are your favorite, whether it's Legos or not, or if you prefer Legos or you just hate Legos. Um, if you hate Legos, I'll kick your ass. Oh, whoa. whoa. Go. He's a calling you out. Go. Oh, my goodness. He's a calling you out. I got to see this. Anybody who wants to take that shot. Like, let's, yeah, there are no, some comics. Yeah, yeah. Let, yeah. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 where he works. Don't do no, no, where he works. <laughs> Don't kill me. We'll yeah. set up. We'll set up a, a celebrity boxing. Right there, you go. Yeah, yeah. F list celebrity boxing. Yeah, let yeah. us know. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments and yeah. uh, like and subscribe, like and subscribe or, or dislike or and subscribe. And, subscribe. Uh, and just that's it. Yeah, that's it. And then just, oh, hit the bell icon so that way you'll you get notified notifications when we put up a new video for you to love and or hate. And uh, if you watched last week's video all the way to the end, tell me what clip that, or what movie or TV show that clip is from in the comments. Yes. All right. You guys got anything else before we get out of here? Yes. One more thing. Go to Tony's channel. Yeah. Tony's got his own channel on YouTube. I'm planning to make more videos. Links below. It's hilarious. It's awesome. Yeah. I like it. Yes. You should like it, too. It's crazy. Uh, Yeah, it's great. I read a fan fiction about cloud eating stuff yep. so, yeah sure yeah did. if you want to know what sure that stuff did. was go to tony's channel it's probably Links not for below. kids yeah, probably not for kids probably not for kids uh anyway guys uh have a good night and we'll see you next week good night night ladies and gentlemen reports from headquarters confirm that the horde of killer rabbits is getting closer to town